COVID cases are rising in Oakland County. It's now shaded yellow, as you can see there, signifying a medium level of community risk on the CDC scale. Doctors are encouraging people who are at high risk of severe illness to mask up to protect themselves. But it may be time to throw away some of the masks you bought at the beginning of the pandemic. Experts say PPE comes with an expiration date and some items may last longer than you think. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay explains. This at home COVID-19 test expires today, but experts say don't throw it away just yet. COVID test dates, expiration dates, keep getting pushed out. Leo Friedman owns iPromo, a manufacturing company that sells promotional goods. He says because the at-home COVID tests are new, manufacturers do not have a real sense of the product's true shelf life, but tests are proving they're more sustainable than originally assumed. So before you throw out your expired test, look it up on the manufacturer's website, and 9 out of 10 times, the expiration date will have moved. So how do you know if your test is still good? Well, you can go to the manufacturer's website and type in the lot number. But the same rule doesn't necessarily apply for face masks. Experts say many people aren't aware that face masks have an expiration date, but they do. And you can typically find them either on the back or bottom of its packaging. This three ply supply of masks has an expiration date of two years if unopened. Majority of the masks that were purchased, let's say, in the beginning of the pandemic are expiring this spring. Friedman says many people and companies accumulated a surplus of masks fearing a shortage and will pull from their pile without checking dates, which can lead to waning protection. So that process does break down over time. Dr. Jonathan Lovey with Beaumont Health says the integrity of a mask can be compromised if used past the expiration date. But if you lost the box, how can you tell if your mask is no good? The loops are starting to get frayed. The mask is fraying, actually, the, the nose above the the part above the nose. And Friedman says the texture feels more brittle, but Dr. Lovey does not recommend getting rid of them, saying some protection is better than none. Do yourself a favor. Uh, it's never a bad thing to mask up. It's never a bad thing to uh, to protect yourself. Uh. In Southfield, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.